It is the 22nd of December and we are so close to done. Uh, just a couple of days left, but let's get into it. All right, looks like we've got our last Sully cut here. Looking rather carbonated. Dark brown color. It's looking a little bit clear. Yeah, a little bit clear. Um, dark brown color. Uh, I'm starting to form opinions already. Uh, that's just how blind tasting works. Maybe I should have like a, <laughs> like an opaque glass that you cannot see the color of. That would actually be really interesting. Why I should, I should have done that earlier. Oh, well. <laughs> go in for a smell. Uh huh. Hmm. Yeah. So a little bit of light roasty malt, a little bit of uh, like a caramel thing. Not just caramel malt, but caramel caramel, like um, like burnt burnt sugar. Um, Mmm. It smells so it smells like a very mild bottom fermented beer. Uh honestly, I think I think this is Sali Yule. Uh and if that's the case, this would be the only beer in the entire calendar that I have managed to pick the actual beer. Oh, super nice, like a it's almost like a whole grain bready thing. Whole grain bread, caramel, um, Really nice bright malts and, and, and like a little bit of roast on the edge there. I mean, what more could you ask for from a really delicious dark lager of a Christmas beer? Um, I mean, I'm assuming that, that that's what this is, right? A, a dark lager, a Christmas beer. I actually don't know that much about Sali Yule. I don't think I've tasted it. Um, I just, I know that it exists. <laughs> and I know it's a Sali Guts. And this makes me think Christmas beer. And it's under 4.7%. And if you put all of those hints together, it's really, unless it's a thing brewed specifically for the calendar, there's only one thing it could be. Let's go in for a taste. Oh, it's at the same time, like nice, easy drinking and dry, but it has this little hit of body, like this little hit of caramel body, which is, I mean, it's it's like it's like a session version. It's like a session session double bock. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of how Ringless Yulebok used to be. By the way, tip: Ringless Yulebok this year is a bit shit, to be honest. Um, I mean, it's been like my it's the, the style favorite for me for like the last eight years. Uh, every year that I've been in Norway, it's been like the defining thing, uh, defining beer of that style. The Christmas double bock. Um, and I think yeah, we we tasted it this year. It's we always have it as a part of our Christmas beer tasting as, as uh as like the the style defining beer, and then we go and taste a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, this year it really was a bit shit. Um, but if you're looking for one that isn't a bit shit, then I really highly recommend uh, um, Agias uh, Agias Doublebock. Uh, I thought it was like it was the quality that you that uh, Ring this Yulebock used to be. Uh, big and slightly sweet, tons of that caramel character. It was like a, a, a double version of this. Mm. That is just fucking delicious. And given how fed up I am with gigantic 9% beers, I prefer it to Yulebok. Fuck it. I, I love it, yeah. Oh. Great Christmas beer. But, you know, we haven't had a whole lot of that in this, this calendar. Surprisingly, almost no Christmas beer. I, I didn't, that, that thought didn't occur to me until right now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not annoyed. <laughs> All right, see what it is. Oh, what was it? What was it? What was it? Is it, is it Sally Yoon? It's Sally Yoon! Oh my God. I got one. So, Malt rich traditional Norwegian Christmas beer with a taste and aroma of uh, malt, bread, uh, checks, Co cookies, biscuits, uh, chocolate, and caramel. Chocolate. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> so, if you like the style, you'll fucking love this. If you're not so interested in Christmas beer, you're not gonna like it. But then it's a Christmas beer, so that was, uh, yeah. I am, um, yeah. 
And you know what? This is going to get even better as it warms up. I'm drinking it straight from the fridge. It's quite cold. It's, it's very pure at the moment. It's like a really nice dark lager. Uh, and as it warms up, it's going to get even more caramelly, even more bready. It's going to get nice and soft and round. Oh, I am down. I am down. It's good stuff. It's even better because it's not like I, I, I don't drink this stuff the rest of the year. I should, but there's something special about it only being around at Christmas, right? It, because you don't, you're not drinking it the whole year. You, by the time you get around to October, November, and December, when these start coming onto the market, you've missed it for just long enough that you're glad that it's back. Uh, hmm. All right, I think that's enough rambling. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you don't like Christmas beer, maybe give it to someone who does. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for Lille Yulofen. <laughs>